All right. Uh, ever since I started doing some of these off-road videos, my video has been rather shaky. And uh, I thought the cameras I had and I was using had some video stabilization in it, but apparently not very well. Um, so I've been trying to try different cameras to see if it gets any better. But obviously, as you can see from some of these videos, um, <laughs> I'm not having much luck. Besides the shakiness, I'm getting noises, and the camera's picking up a lot of extra noise from the shaky vibrations. Obviously, the road's not very smooth. So, I thought I'd do this little short video to show you what I've been using. And uh, what I've just received, and I'm going to try for our next off road adventure. So, hopefully, we can get better video with less shakiness. Yeah, there is software out there uh, that I may be able to use to straighten the videos out. But uh, I haven't tried that route yet. I've been reading pros and cons on that. So sit back and uh, I'll show you what I progressed with. I first started filming with this Nikon Coolpix that I had bought uh, for our Jamaica trip to do underwater filming and it seemed to work pretty decent um, doesn't have great stabilization in it so the next time we went out I thought I'd try our Canon SX720 but uh, it's just too heavy and created a lot of shaking. Plus, at that time, not realizing it, I started using this quick disconnect. Uh, this piece would mount to the tripod or the mount, and then this piece right here would mount to the camera. And I just would stick them together like that with that mounted to the camera and snap it in well that was all well and good it makes it easy to switch from camera to camera if i have these mounted to different cameras but here's the issue i just recently realized that moves around in the base which allowed the camera to pick up that noise and it really made for terrible terrible video so I, uh, as you can see, had some really, really bad video uh, that uh, I really couldn't use from our rendezvous video that I'm putting together. So, I've uh, upgraded, I guess you could say. I just recently received it in the mail. And I got... The Hero 8 GoPro. And that's supposed to really help with the uh, stabilization issues. Uh, it's an action camera made for this kind of stuff. So we'll we'll see how it does on our next off-road trip. Bought some spare batteries as well because it's supposed to have a short battery life. Hour and a half to two hours. Our next off-road trip um, is going to be... In December so it'll be a while before I can put another video out with this GoPro I hope this helps uh, some y'all out there um, I know it's helped me to know not to use those quick disconnects anymore just mount the camera straight to the tripod and uh, yeah the the better stabilization you have in your camera the better off you're gonna be I'm a slow learner, but I'll get there eventually. Y'all have fun out there.